Here we're asked to solve a linear system using matrices and Gaussian elimination. Let's begin by writing the corresponding augmented coefficient matrix. Now the goal is to find an equivalent matrix in upper triangular form. We'll use the elementary row operations to replace this first element of the second row with a zero. Now to begin to do that, let's multiply the first, uh, the first row here by negative two. That'll leave us with negative 10 four, negative two, and six. Now we'll rewrite the second row right underneath that, and then add them together. That'll result in zero, three, one, and six. We'll use this to replace the second row. Next, we want to replace the first element of the third row here with zero. Now to do that, we can multiply the first row by three. And that'll leave us with 15, negative six, three, and negative nine. Now rewriting the third row underneath that, we then add them together. And in this case, we're left with zero, three, one, and eight. We'll replace the third row with that. Next, we want to replace the second element here in the third row with a zero. And to do that, it looks like we can multiply the second row here by negative one. That'll result in zero, negative three, negative one, and negative six. And then right under that we'll write the third row, zero, three, one, and eight. Now adding these together, we're left with zero, 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 two. And we'll replace the third row again with that. Now this leaves us with a matrix in upper triangular form. Now I notice here the third row represents coefficients of zero and a constant of two. When this is the case, we can recognize that the original system is inconsistent. Now this is apparent if we write this as a linear system. And so here you can see that we have an equation zero equals two, which is false. This tells us that this linear system is inconsistent and that there is no solution.